all really want to hear about my setup for some reason. <laughs> I get it. I'm an influencer. I code good. Y'all think I have this crazy setup that makes me super efficient at writing software. I'm not Primogen. I promise. It's a hard reality, I know. But I used to care a lot about my Vim config. I used to be deep in i3 land and Linux and all that shit. I'm not anymore. I stopped caring. Not because those things are bad, but because they're not where I wanted to focus my energy. It's my goal to make software for my users as quickly and effectively as possible. And the details of my setup are not that important. To me, what's way more important, especially as I'm hiring teams and bringing on other developers and working with them and doing all sorts of different shit, it is significantly more important for me to have a workflow where I can borrow my coworker's computer or they can borrow mine and we can just use them. The simpler my setup is to reproduce for myself such that my computer breaks, I go to an Apple store and I have it working in an hour or less. And also such that I can onboard a new coworker, have them in a, set up in an environment they like, and we can swap laptops on hard problems and I can take over their computer and not feel like I'm relearning how to type because I got really into some crazy new keyboard layout that isn't QWERTY. I picked up this philosophy from my first manager at Twitch and I owe Waba dearly for this. I remember vividly all the effort I was putting in to make a crazy environment in my Mac OS setup that was similar to i3 with different programs having crazy key bindings, like 15 different uh, workspaces and or scripts that I wrote and hacks that I did to the Mac OS kernel so that the animations would be faster. I did so much shit to try and replicate like my old i3 workflow in my Mac. And then I would pair with my boss and he would just command tab, and command tilde through apps, all full screen. He did not do anything crazy with his setup at all. And he was one of the fastest engineers I had ever worked with by a lot. I realized at that point I had comically over-engineered my setup. And since then I've trimmed it down significantly. How significantly? Let's just go through my environment quick. Here's my terminal. You'll notice it says terminal and not iTerm. I don't use iTerm. I don't care. It doesn't bring things that I need. I just have the stock terminal. I do use Tmux because I grew up on Tmux. I use Tmux and GNU screen before I ever wrote code. I like it a lot. I don't think you should go learn it. It's a lot to learn and doesn't bring a ton of value, but it is a thing I personally like, and it's the closest thing I have to a fancy tool in my terminal. Otherwise, it's pretty boring. And when I want to code something, let's just go to Zapdos in here. Yes, it is. In Zapdos, I have a, a short for this. I could just do code, period. It's the same thing. And here's my VS Code. You'll notice this is very boring as well. If I go to my extensions, it'll be a bunch of language extensions. So I have like the Astro. I have Cloak, which is for hiding environment variables. I have the Dart one, which is annoying. I have the Deno one, some .env thing, some EdgeDB language parser. I don't have a lot of fancy plugins in here. Almost all of these are just for a language. This rewrap one doesn't work. I'm probably going to remove it. Uh, yeah. Nothing fancy. It's very boring by design. My color scheme is Poimander's theme. Uh, P-O-I-M-A-N-D-R-E-S. I think I have it installed in here. Yeah, this is the theme. Nothing special. It's by the Hoymanders guys. They make uh, Zestand, or Zustand, Jotai, uh, React Free Fiber, a bunch of other stuff. I like it. It's fine. It looks nice. It's easy on my eyes. The color palette's fine. This green and blue don't affect my color blindness for some reason. I don't quite understand why, but I can see the difference pretty clearly. So it's worked well for me. I don't care. And this is it. That's my whole setup. The magic piece, though, and I think a lot of people don't know this on Mac OS. If I command tab, I can only switch between terminal and my editor, right? I'm going to show you a magic trick. It's going to save your life. Command tab to switch between apps. Command tilde to switch between instances of the same app. So if I have three VS codes open or five Chromes open, I just move my finger that's pressing tab up one key and press that instead to switch between the app. It's so easy for me to quickly switch to editor, switch between instances of the editor, switch back to Chrome, open another Chrome, and then switch between the instances of Chrome. I promise you, I am just as fast with this window switching shit as any crazy i3 or whatever desktop Linux user is. And I don't have any fancy shit. None at all. 
don't have, like I have a Google Chrome full screen here because I full screen things when I'm streaming so that you don't have the UI bar on top. When I'm not streaming, I don't full screen that way. I literally just have my one desktop and nothing else and as few apps open as possible. Like the things I would also have open if I wasn't streaming are Discord and Notion. That's it. I keep my environment as simple as possible. That's all I care about. And because of that, I open my laptop, I complete the task, I do my stream, I do whatever, and then I close it and I'm done. I think it is very easy to overthink your setup. I don't even use half the tools built into my Mac. I don't use workspaces. I don't use any of the accessibility stuff. My goal is make my environment as simple as possible so I don't have to learn my environment. I just wanna write code. And if I take someone else's computer or they take mine, I want them to be able to do the same. The simpler, the better. I think we get way too caught up in our tools. I am sure that Primogen is marginally faster than me at working in a code base that he's already familiar with because his editor is better than mine and he's customized it to his exact needs and workflows. You're not Primogen and I'm not either. We have shit to do. If you've done that shit, you've been developing for a while, you see what people are doing in Vim and you're like, hey, that looks really cool. I wanna have an environment like that. Go fucking nuts. It is really cool. I got hooked on that shit when I was like 19 and 20. Then I turned 21 and I got a job and I was tired of setting it up over and over again. And then I looked at my manager and he was faster than me without any of that shit set up. And then I stopped and I got faster. So weigh this in your next decision about whether or not to go all in on NeoVim because I'm in VS Code, full screen with nothing fancy installed. And I move pretty fast too. Hope this is helpful in your decision-making process about your dev environment.